Sharon Pedro, good evening to you. That's right. Lawmakers here in California are shoring up support and pressing for more protections for reproductive care. Here in West Hollywood, pro choice advocates are gearing up for more protests this weekend. It's insane to take away somebody's bodily autonomy. It is one of the most contentious issues of our time. Shame on all of you! Shame on your killing baby! And this week, the debate over abortion appears to be deepening our nation's divide. Rise up for abortion, rise! Monday's bombshell leak of a draft opinion by conservative justices showing the Supreme Court is on track to overturn the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade decision legalizing abortion has led to nationwide protests. All people deserve access to legal, safe abortion. California Attorney General Rob Bonta today reaffirming Governor Gavin Newsom's pledge to make the state a sanctuary for millions of women who may need access to reproductive care if federal protections are rescinded and other states make the practice illegal. If Roe is overturned, about a dozen states would outlaw abortion immediately, with about a dozen others likely to follow. I'm proud to defend the right to life and I know my colleagues are as well. The move has also galvanized anti-abortion supporters. The taking of a life is murder and it is illegal. Lawmakers in Louisiana this week advanced a bill that would categorize abortion as murder. Persons are deemed unworthy of legal protection for no other reason that they are not yet born. The state measure would allow women receiving abortions to be charged with homicide. That would largely impact women of color. CDC data from 2019 shows African American women have the highest rate of abortions per 1,000, followed by Hispanic women. The CDC also reports that 60% of women seeking an abortion were already mothers. As if women of color already don't have all these barriers in place, now they put another barrier. Shannon Brewer is director of the Women's Health Organization in Jackson, Mississippi, the state's only abortion clinic. The women who are going to be able to travel and have financial means to go to other facilities, it won't affect them. The women who cannot do that, the women who don't have the financial means to do that, the women who can't take off work to do that because they'll lose their jobs, the women who already have other children, these are the ones that are going to be affected the most. All right, and as for those events this weekend, a pro-choice rally will be happening here in West Hollywood tomorrow at noon, just behind us, actually, on the corner of Santa Monica Boulevard and San Vicente. Also Saturday, another rally will take place in East Hollywood. That's later in the afternoon. A nationwide, nationwide rallies are planned for Sunday. More information on our website, KTLA.com. We're live in West Hollywood. John Finolio, KTLA 5 News. John, thank